everyone now! This is what Brian thinks adventures YouTube enthusiasts speaking to each as well as every one of you. I hope everybody is doing very well. I am here to provide a live April 2024 update that is premiering come Easter Monday as well as Happy April Fool's Day of April Fool's Day of Monday, April 1st. And I'm here to talk about the amazing accomplishment of my second year, second season of Special Olympics Bowling and the amazing award as well. And plus, we got some Frank Mills, Peter Piper music playing right now. So here we go. A week ago, last Sunday, March 24th, I broke 188 points, 166 points, to 354 points on my last day of my second year, second season in Special Olympics Bowling. And also, I was given this Harry Williamson Best Sponsorship Award. It goes to Bonnie Toon Bowling Lanes, Brian, Special Olympics All-Stars 1, Harry Williamson Best Sportsmanship 2023-2024. And I also would like to show you my amazing medal that I achieved this year. Are you ready for me to show it? You are? Let's do it! Everyone, be prepared to be amazed. I was given this amazing medal. Av new average 128 points, double 314, single, 185 points in bowling so you may as well know I did very well this year on my second year second season in Special Olympics bowling and uh, that's not all everyone there's some more to us part of this live April 2024 update I was given this amazing um, Special Olympics bowling award and the recognition of perfect attendance so I'm going to show you right now here we are everyone, Special Olympics Bowling, Bonnie Toon Bowling Lanes, All-Star 1 Bowling Leagues, and recognition of perfect attendance presented to Brian for the 2023-2024. It was absolutely amazing and I'm very proud to say I'm looking forward to signing up for my third year, third season in Special Olympics Bowling as well, and I'm so proud to say I had accomplished my second year, second season in AS1, All-Stars 1 Special Olympics Bowling. And I'm so proud to announce everybody, next fall, next, next year, after summer holidays, after this summer, I will be entering my third year, third season in the Special Olympics Bowling involving AS1, All-Stars 1 Special Olympics Bowling including 10-pin bowling at Gateway Entertainment Center, Gateway Bowling Lanes, for my third year, third season in Special Olympics Bowling next year. In fact, you may as well want to know, I'm very proud to announce my team, Evan, Kellen, Blake and I, the four of us, we did remarkably very well on my second year, second season in All-Stars 1 and AS1 Special Olympics Bowling. And I'm so very excited to tell every one of you, I am qualifying for my second, for my third year, third season in Special Olympics Bowling, come next fall, at the start of next year in the 2024-2025 Special Olympics Bowling season, as well as um, my fourth season in the 2025-2026 Special Olympics Bowling season, involving my fifth season in the 2026-2027 Special Olympics Bowling Season! So, you may as well know, I am very proud to say I worked very hard for this amazing Bonnie Do Bowling Lanes Harry Williamson Best Sportsman presented to me. Our coaches um, were very impressed how well I performed and this is one of the best awards of all and I'm so excited to put this on my wall in my room so it's quite the achievement to, you know, how hard I had to work to win it. And also, you may as well know, this year, I had gone past my average of 109 points, 
My average this year is 128 points, so this is quite the improvement I made this year, everyone. For those of you who would like to know, I am so excited to get ready for the Special Olympics Polathon Saturday, April 13th, and less than uh, two weeks in about um, uh, 12 days time from now. So lots of excitement is up in the air. And for those of you who would like to hear, I have been uh, putting in some intensive and amazing extra bowling practices in between my work at Loblaw City Market in the Ice District, and also shifting with five pin and 10 pin bowling for extra bowling practices. And I'm definitely, definitely going to do some five pin and 10 pin, 10 pin bowling practices to get ready for my third year, third season in Special Olympics Bowling next fall for the 2024-2025 Special Olympics Bowling season. I'm so excited, everyone! Woo! It's gonna be the best thing that's gonna to happen, too. Plus, I'm putting some music in the background for this live April 2024 update with me getting in the groove. It's Peter Piper. Yeah! I'm gonna be rocking the Special Olympics Ballathon Tournament Fundraiser on Saturday, April 13th, after this Easter Monday, April Fool's Day in 12 days time. Stay tuned everyone, and for those of you who would like to hear, it has been quite the achievement doing the five pin and 10 pin in between um, bowling practices. Here we go, just bear with me a minute. And I'm just putting on some music right now. Right, let's do it. So for those of you who would like to hear, I am also excited to tell each as well as every one of you, I have been building my YouTube collection for a very long time and have been a YouTube enthusiast since nine years ago in 2015. And I have been taking my YouTube channel in between my work at Loblaw City Market in Ice District, between my college schedules in Nate as well as McEwen University, including um, before and after attending the open house of Northwest College in March of last month. But aside from all this, I'm proud to say, everyone, I look forward to doing extremely well on my third year, third season in Special Olympics Bowling involving S1, All-Stars 1, 510 Special Olympics Bowling and Bonnie Dew Bowling Lanes again next fall, next year, including 10-pin bowling at the Gateway Entertainment Center, Gateway Bowling Lanes, as I move towards my third year, third season in Special Olympics Bowling next year, next fall, come the 2024-2025 Special Olympics Bowling season. And for those of you who would like to hear, I am so proud to say with this amazing medal, I'm gonna wear this on my neck and, sorry. So with this amazing achievement I did this year in Special Olympics Bowling, everyone, I did an average of 128 points, Double 314, single 185 points. So, what an achievement I did this year, everyone. And for those of you who would like to know, that's because I had re very recently been putting in all the extra bowling practices. And I look forward to continuing my Special Olympics bowling, both AS1 5 pin Special Olympics bowling and Bonnie Team bowling lanes next year, next fall, come next October. Uh, fall 2024, and also with 10 pin bowling at Gateway Entertainment Center, Gateway Bowling Lanes, as I move towards my third year, third season in Special Olympics bowling. So it's, like to fly like a bird. it's a Shaggy Rari from the live move, action movie of Scooby Doo. One of my favorite music uh, tunes to get in the groove, especially appropriate for bus trips on public transit. It gets, it's kind of like the bare necessities, but similar. 
some work to do now. But aside from all this, everyone, it's quite the achievement I did in my second year, second season. Everybody is very proud, and I also have amazing pictures of my bowling team. Of Helen, Blake, and I up from our last day of Special Olympics bowling on Sunday, March 24th of this year. And I'm so excited to post it on my YouTube community. And also, excited to tell you, I rocked so hard in my second year, second season in AS1 Special Olympics bowling. And I'm so excited to enter my third year, third season in Special Olympics Bowling involving five pin bowling, AS1 All-Stars 1 again, at Bonnie Dune Bowling Lanes as well as the 10 pin bowling at Gateway Entertainment Center, Gateway Bowling Lanes as well. I have been putting in some extremely but amazing hard work with all those bowling practices and the perseverance has been really been paying off and I'm definitely gonna go above and beyond as I move towards my third season in Special Olympics Bowling for my third year, Come the 2024-25 Special Olympics bowling season. Stay tuned, everyone. And now we're going to hear the bare necessities. So, just to settle things down a bit. Bare necessities, the simple bare necessities. Well, for those of you who would like to know, I am definitely going to be making two trips to Calgary uh, this summer in July as well. And also, um, between this month of April, as well as May next month of this spring, I am hoping to uh, look into some spring courses in Northwest College before the summer holidays of um, end of June and July and August of this summer and also planning on looking into the uh, uh, the courses in um, Nate as well as McEwen University for um, the 2024-2025 semester for next year as well as the 2025-2026 semester as well. I will come to you. I will come to you. Look for the bare necessities. I'm telling you, my mom was very proud how hard I did in my second year, second season in Special Olympics bowling. I just went above and beyond. Above and beyond in doing all these extra bowling practices in between. And it really paid off extremely well. In fact, I am definitely going to rock the Special Olympics Bowlathon tournament fundraiser come Saturday, April 13th, early mid-April of this month, so lots of excitement is up in the air, folks. Plus, with some bare necessities from the 1967 Disney movie, The Jungle Book, they'll come to you. Plus, uh, you may as well want to know, I am really looking forward to getting in the gear with involving five pin bowling, All Stars 1, AS1 Special Olympics bowling, and Bonnie King bowling lanes on Sunday mornings next fall for the 2024 2025 Special Olympics bowling season. At the same time with the 10 pin bowling at Gateway Entertainment Center, Gateway Bowling Lanes. Come my third year, third season of Special Olympics bowling. Come next fall. So stay tuned everyone. I'm gonna do it with a positive bag. Yup. Woo! But seriously folks, you may as well wanna know, I have been posting a lot of amazing YouTube videos of random articulated buses to BTS on the 500X medals in Downtown Express with my amazing art card and style. In fact, for my 31st birthday this spring, this May of next month, I have some amazing ETS bus videos on Special Premier involving the Valley Line LRT in Special Premier. Stay tuned for that for my 31st birthday come Sunday, May 12th next month, including King of the Hill of Hank in the Great Glass Elevator. That can't be found. 
you find out you can live without it. And go along not thinking about it, and I'll tell you something true. No necessities of life will come to you. I'm telling you, if you ever want to try to do some YouTube public transit vlogs like me, I would suggest some familiar routes that I know and love going to. But seriously, for those of you who would love to know is that Evan, Callan, Blake and I, the four of us, did very well in Special Olympics bowling this year. And because of that, we worked so hard for this amazing Perry Williamson Best Sportsmanship Award. And I really can't wait to start my third year, third season in Special Olympics There's bowling with both 510 S1 and All Stars 1 Special Olympics bowling, including the 10 pin bowling at Gateway Entertainment Center, Gateway Bowling Lanes, come the 2024 2025 Special Olympics bowling season after summer holidays at the end of the summer of next fall. So there'll be a lot in store too. Plus, we got some King Louie, I want to be like you from the Disney movie, The Jungle Book. With Louie Prima. So, you may as well want to know is that I wish many people could become phenomenal YouTube enthusiasts, of Disney enthusiasts, DJ enthusiasts, random elevator enthusiasts, various Canadian public transit system enthusiasts, of ETS Edmonton Transit Service Enthusiasts, Strathcona County Enthusiasts, Calgary Transit Enthusiasts, HSR Hamilton Street Railway Enthusiasts, Go Transit Enthusiasts, TTC Toronto Transit Commission Enthusiasts users like me. Featuring our familiar subway stations I always go to between Union Station, St. George Station, and Blue Young Station, Wellesley College, Dundas Queen King of our Young Street Line, and our Young University Spadine Line. Oh, be do Especially between St. George Station and Union Station, Museum, Queen's Park Station, St. Patrick Station, Osgood and St. Andrew Station, between our Dufferin Station, Bay Blur Young Station, St. George Station, with Ossington Station, Christie Station, Bathurst, Spadina and St. George on our line too. Especially our familiar streetcar routes I had used to go to with my Auntie Paula before when I was very young. The 510 Spadina, there's the 506 Carlton outside Queen's Park Station on College Street. And the, some of the streetcar routes I have already know how to get to and from Eaton Center, from St. Patrick Station, aside from Osgood Station, the Queen and Dundas, 505 Dundas and Dundas Street, and 501 Queen of Queen Street. And I also would love to say, everyone, I am hoping to have a girlfriend before and after the summer, as well as next year and the year after and hoping to go attend Bonfest at the Ice District this summer if it comes out this June. Really can't wait to see what, what it'll look like since I have done YouTube videos and a brand of DJs in uh, the Church of John as well as Union Hall before. And red fire. But I don't know how to make fire. Now don't try to hit me man come. I'm gonna deal with you. I desire this man's red fire to make my dream come true. Now give me the secret man cup. Come on, clue me what to do. Give me the power of man's great power so I can be like you. Just imagine if um, if Disney made a movie, it'd be called New Flyer Articulated Bus Kings of BTS, HSR, Calgary Transit, as well as um, other places like Vancouver Transit, like in Vancouver, BC, Metro Vancouver, including St. Albert Transit. I call it New Flyer Articulated Bus Princes, Kings, and New Flyer Articulated Bus Queens! Ho oh ho! Yeah. This, I wish many people can become amazing YouTube Mickey Mouse elevator public transit stars like me. And give them the rhythm like me. Yeah. Especially pulling the bell on the buses for very stops that are familiar as well, that is always... There goes the bus and that's it. Don't forget to click the like, subscribe button. But seriously everyone, I'm very pleased to say my second year, second season of Special Olympics bowling went very well and I worked so hard and did an amazing average of 128 points this year, double 314. 
and single 185. So that I ended with a positive bang. Boom. Yep. Nobody can outrun the strikers like Evan Kellen, Blake and I in Special Olympics bowling. And I hope next year, I look forward to rocking my third year, third season in AS1 Special Olympics bowling. I bought you bowling links again next fall, next October. In the 2024-2025 Special Olympics bowling season, as I move towards my third year, third season in Special Olympics bowling involving five team bowling AS1, at Bonding Dean Bowling Lanes, including the Gateway Bowling Lanes, Gateway Entertainment Center, with Tempkin Bowling involved. Man, I gotta say, I sure know how to rock. But enough with the music, everyone. I would like to say, on the positive note, I have been putting in some extreme bowling practices, and practicing shifting back and forth with 5-pin and 10-pin quite a bit, and as mentioned, um, with the amazing hard work and perseverances have been paying off. I am so really excited to tell you, but the proudest thing of all is that I worked so hard and I did three strikes at the start of February uh, two months ago involving 185 points and then March of last month, um, three, four weeks ago, 170 points, 144 points. So. Very impressive displays I've made this year. In fact, I am really can't wait to do well as we move towards the Special Olympics Bowlathon, Special Olympics Bowling Tournament uh, fundraiser at Bonnie Dean Bowling Lanes come Saturday, April 13th as well. In fact, you may as well want to hear, that was one remarkable display I rocked. In fact, I'm so thrilled to tell you before the start of spring break, I made some amazing YouTube videos of scenes from Scooby-Doo, Thomas the Tank Engine, Thomas and Friends that are all on YouTube, including the music videos, the sing-alongs, so, so this way for the students and teachers getting off school of LOI parents, as well as other schools going on too. But enough about that. I really hope to say everyone, I hope uh, the West Ham tomorrow will advertise Soundway for my 31st birthday this May of this year as well as my um, 32nd birthday next spring, next May 2025, including my 33rd birthday, May 2026. But the positive goal this year, that I hope this year on my travels to uh, Hamilton, my old place in Ontario on visits, I'll be able to make 4K YouTube videos of our HSR buses up and down the south side, east, west, Hamilton, Mountain Escarpment areas again, especially the downtown or Hamilton Go Transit Center, our GO station, take the GO train between Aldershot Station, where my Auntie Paula's place is not that far in Waterdown, to Union Station via Oakville Station in Oakville, featuring around, featuring my subway trips between Bloor Young Station, Wellesley College, Dundas Queen King Station, between Union Station, St. George Station, I always go to on our Young University Spadina line. I'm very smart and very wise about the rules as always through St. Andrew Station, Osgood, St. Patrick, Queens Park Station, and Museum Station, between Dufferin Station, Bloor Young Station, Bay St. George Station as well, Ossington Station, Christie Station, Bathurst, Spadina Station, as well as our familiar streetcar routes, 510 Spadina, 511 Bathurst I'm very familiar with, 506 Carlton, 505 Dundas, aside from, and also know the 501 Queen, 504 King Street cars, so very familiar street cars, and I always go very, during the day and always remembering the same rules as my Auntie Paula. My mom has told me before many times when riding the subway on street cars always, and, and that's the wise thing I always remember. My back stays against the wall at all times, stay behind the yellow line, stay in the middle of the platform, always go during the day, never a situation. And I still have my amazing Presto Smart Fair card to use on our HSR buses in Hamilton as well as Waterdown, Oak, on, our, on the Oakville Transit buses in Oakville, our GO Bus and GO Train in the Greater Toronto Hamilton areas of our Lakeshore West Line, especially the subways and the streetcars on our familiar routes of the TTC, the downtown area in Toronto during the day as well. So since I very well know and remember the way extremely well and still have an excellent memory too. 
But on the very positive thing I'd like to say everyone, I'm really hoping for a wonderful, amazing summer this year yet. And also looking forward to participating in my third year, third season in both the uh, AS1, All-Stars 1, Special Olympics 5 pin bowling again next fall, next October, including the 10 pin bowling at the Gateway Entertainment Center, Gateway Bowling Lanes too, as I move up to my third year, third season in Special Olympics bowling, come the 2024, 2025 Special Olympics bowling season, my third year next year, including the next year after my fourth season in the 2025, 2026 Special Olympics bowling season, as well as my fifth season in the 2026, 2027 down the road. So lots of positive details as well. And everyone stay tuned for this live mid-April 2024 update that will premiere the day before the Special Olympics Bowlathon come Saturday, April 13th. I will see you then. Thank you for this live April 2024 update. Premiering April 1st, Easter Monday, April Fool's Day, April 1st. Thank you very much for this amazing live April 2024 update from the amazing, fabulous YouTube enthusiast of This Is What Brian Thinks Adventures. I will see you all soon, pals. I'll see you again soon, everyone. Take care. See you then. Bye now.